and we back guys thank you for joining me we're doing this series and talking about some stuff that's next gen and what we're going to get into today is esports i think it's special enough briefly to talk all by itself click a lick allow Well, eSports. If you don't know what eSports is pertaining to, eSports is basically what your parents, if you're old school, your your old school, your parents told you you would never amount to anything playing video games. Hit the subscribe button, the like button, the comments, the notification bell. Thank you. Your parents were like, hey, look, you're never going to mount anything if you play video games. Don't play video games all day. It's not a real job. And they were wrong towards where we're at today. In 2018, okay, esports gaming money that was coming in, okay, $856 million. $800 fifty six million dollars that's in having people play video games competitively we're not talking about playing online against friends in the division and for whatever reason your shield is getting knocked down by their stuff or the fact that they didn't put any skill tier effort but their disruption to your skill which is a your armor skills tier like six there is zero but they're pulse destroys my rated six like okay i'm <laughs> taking this somewhere else just think about that they're playing video games for a living competitively all over the world and that's how much they're making if you're on the right channel give or take on a saturday or sunday even late night friday you will see what looks like a, a bunch of people playing on computers almost like a, a school setting with a light dim low. It's normally that, that high tech blue, basically. And that's what they're doing. They're playing, you got competitive games on almost any game you can think of for the most part competitively, whether it's Clash of Clans, Rocket League, Call of Duty, Battlefield, Fortnite. You can't not, not mention Fortnite, right? Hmm. What's the other one? Leagues of Legends? Something like that. But guess how much money competitive gaming. I mean, I even saw it in a commercial. It was like a hotel commercial. And the person was like practicing with their thumbs and moisturizing their thumbs. And I, I know where it sounds like it's leading. But at the end, he was just trying to get a good night's sleep. And he had a e-tournament that he had to get ready for. There was, a, there was a, a young man, I wouldn't even say young man, it was a kid. I'm not even being disrespectful, it was a kid. And I think he won a $3 million purse or, or bid or winning or collection pot, whatever word you want to use. He won over a million dollars playing Fortnite, being the best Fortnite player in the world or the best Fortnite player at the time of the tournament. You've got people like Ninja, you know, came up in the ranks playing video games competitively and making a name for himself being one of the best playing Fortnite, which in my opinion also helped raise the attention to so many people playing Fortnite and streaming and content creating. He was one of the ones up there to the point that ESPN, before the magazine closed, ESPN put him on the cover of the magazine. ESPN had a special on him about esports. Esports isn't going away. If you ever play any of the 2K games, you can be drafted if you're good enough. You can be drafted to an, a professional esport NBA team, play with a team that has a jersey, you guys meet, you do tournaments, and you you play and you make money. Now, what I was gonna say after the the eight hundred plus million in twenty eighteen, in twenty twenty two, it's estimated to be what? If you could just throw out a number. Nope, not high enough. Nope, go a little bit higher. Nope, still too low. It would be 1.79, almost 2 billion. B 
billion. Listen to what I'm saying. Almost two billion dollars estimated by 2022 in esport gaming. Oh, everybody's getting on on this. And I wouldn't even say now getting on it. They've been on it. The average salary is $3,000 to $5,000 monthly. Some of the top players are playing in India, China, the US of A. But if you're the best, best, you might make 10 to $25,000 for one competition. And some of these have clauses where you're making it in there and you didn't even win. There's sponsorships. You can be sponsored for playing video games. You can be in a crew and get recruited by playing a game you enjoy that you're talented at and play in the semi pros for the most part, where you're kind of repping your, your team, though you don't travel with them. They might give you a jersey and shout you out or whatever the case is. And, and you're part of their clan. You're part of their clique. It's almost like you've joined D Generation X. Here's your free t shirt. And I got two words for you. I'm not going to say it's a PG-13. It's a, it's a family show here. But I think you get my drift. And so esports, to me, had to have its own segue. You know, as I'm talking about next gen, these next gen systems, similar to the systems we have now. And when I say systems, I do also mean mobile because it is esports. I do mean computer. It is esports. These, these are I'm not tell, telling you something new, I'm not telling you water's wet. But these next gen systems, I mean, need to push it to another level, right? I remember, man, that means I'm a retired eSport player. Yes, yes. You are now hearing the voice of a formal, formally retired eSport champion. Yes, back in the 90s, I, I don't mean to brag, but back in the 90s, Blockbuster video, maybe you heard of them. Did a little competition with Nintendo with, I think it was Rare Studio at the time for Donkey Kong. And it was a competition, Super NES. I think it had to be Super NES. And uh, it's like two weeks you had to practice and get ready for it. But they wanted to see who can go the furthest in the game with time and all this other stuff. Man, I trained, but I trained on the low because my mom was cool with me playing video games. My dad, for the most part, he was weird about it because he would watch it and just be impressed at how digital and te technology has gone. Like he bought me my first video game system. He bought me my Atari, which is funny because he didn't like us playing games. He thought it was a waste of time. He'd rather go read a book or the newspaper. Knowledge is power. He was partly right. But he never thought video games would go anywhere. So I, I would... I, you know, I didn't, but man, esport gaming. So yeah, you got you got to have you got to have gaming for esports looking next gen. You should be able to turn on your new next gen system, and maybe you're in the league. Maybe you're on a leaderboard. Now I, I know what you're saying. There's leaderboards all over the place in different games. Whether you're in a clan or a clique or something on Destiny or the Division, World of Warcraft, but Maybe you're playing Apex Legend or Fortnite. There's a leaderboard there, so you can see where you fall on that. I get it, but I mean like an eSport leaderboard. The closest thing I think I've seen to something like that is Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six has the different tiers that once you you are you know moving up the ranks, and I don't know if it still means the same now, because I think maybe cheating and stuff has kind of messed that up, and that's another thing with next gen. If the cheating mechanism is still there, if people are hacking and doing things, then that kind of takes the integrity of um, eSport and being competitive. Um, I can think off the top of my head, Division put out a second raid for Iron Horse, and there were some issues with that where people wondered whether or not it was correct or legit, you know, information given out to people. So competitive gaming has been here, and but now it's, it's so big and it's making so much money. Can't be mad at it.
But wouldn't it be cool if you were, you know, an eSport gamer on your PlayStation 5 or your Xbox and you got a little little kickback check because you just did a, a tournament from home? Because that's another thing. Fortnite, yes, they did the, 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 the really big tournament where I think they flew in players, but they constantly do this thing where it's like you can play cash cash, you know, casual if you want to, but you can also play legit and it moves you into a ranking system that is basically kind of getting you ready for um, e-gaming. And one of the things is, you know, being a content creator, if you're the best or one of the best at what you do, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Injustice, you're one of the best. They will watch you. They will, like at one point, there was a summer or two ago where Fortnite was so big and you didn't want to lose that parents were paying kids to teach other kids or even adults how to play this game competitively. That's crazy, but again, you could have been anywhere in the world. We're at that 11 minute mark. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you get back to doing what you're doing, but I appreciate you. Kalika, lick, lick, allow.